Hey, what's going on everybody out here in YouTube land? How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a, a great week. Um, Thursday night here, so coming up on the weekend. Um, so this is the second part of that uh, just absolutely epic mail call week I've had. Um, I said it just kind of seemed like everything fell into place all at once. Um, so again, I did the previous one where I had the um, the amazing, amazing Vero from my buddy Colin Finnegan, then the um, bead for the giveaway uh, or for the raffle from Casey at Basement Bench Brand, and then um, the package from Olight. So this is the final two. So we've got White Mountain Knives. And Ray over at Everyday City Carry. Um, and again, this was a giveaway from s number 63 of his live streams, I think it was. And then this is just something I picked up at a screaming deal. And I just thought about it here just a minute ago. My wife and I had a bit of a laugh over it. But uh, everything I'm about to unbox is from Kaiser. So it kind of works that we're putting it all together. I didn't even think about that beforehand. And to open it, we'll have another Kaiser. So filming this the same night I did the uh, the other unboxing so that's why I've still got the uh, the Kaiser here with me so number one oh, also um, I'm filming this at a little bit of a different aspect ratio and at a different frame rate so I'm hoping that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing on my screen everything looks way 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 better on my screen I'm hoping it does on y'all's as well. So if not, let me know. Well, you know, I'm, who am I saying? Well, I'm going to end up watching it before y'all do. So um, I'm hoping that turns out good because I cannot reshoot this. But um, first things first, we'll go into the ah peanuts. I got attacked by peanuts. Say that too fast and in the wrong crowd, and they might think you're saying something else. <laughs> family, family friendly show here. Family friendly show, guys. Get your minds all together. All right. And throw that box over into the pile of boxes. So this is one I have been wanting since I've seen it at um, Blade Show. I actually had the privilege of meeting the designer. Um, set with him and a bunch of other awesome dudes at the Kaiser meet. Um, I've been privileged enough to, to, you know, to get to talk with them a little bit, uh, through live streams and, and then getting to speak with them again at the, at the, at the Kaiser meet. I've been wanting this for a while and it came up on a super awesome deal. I don't know if it still is or not, but if it is, you need to buy it. Um, this is the Grazioso the n690 copper and black g10 this is from my buddy sharif manganas manganas steel uh, which if you don't know he just had to drop the um oh lord i just completely drew a blank i can't think of the name of his his newest release um wow i had it in my brain and then it's just gone Anyway, he just dropped a design of his own on his own website. Um, it's um, ms underscore knives dot com, if I'm not mistaken. Um, actually, give me a second. I'm gonna make sure this information is right. I want to help. I want to spread the word for him. So bear with me just a moment. Okay, I'm back. So Sharif. I am sorry, my brain had a massive fart. I don't know why I couldn't remember anything. But this is it. I had to borrow my wife's phone. So it's the Kayamano. There's the website, ms-knives.com. This is available now. There's two variants. You've got the, um, the micarta there. And then there's also, I hear this. Wait, wait, there, there it is. So you also have the fat carbon version, the purple fat carbon, which is fire. I think they are priced $250, $275. I'm pretty sure. Um, absolutely epic designs. I mean, look at that harpoon knife. 
I mean, that's just mwah, chef's kiss. Anyway, check him out if you haven't already. He makes some awesome stuff. On his website as well, there is a uh, link to his collab collabs where you can see knives like this and etc. So I'm going to link all that stuff down below in the description. But um, again, Sharif, if you see this, which I hope you do, but if you see this, man, I'm sorry for <laughs> butchering that. But anyway, here is the, uh, the Grazioso. Um, typical Kaiser stuff. We're not going to go into any of that. Um, of course, you get your free hardware and all that stuff. But this is what I am excited for. As much as I love my black and blue, I love black and copper or black and brass just as much. And this one was which one? Copper? I can't remember. Yeah, copper. So, check that guy out. I know there's a lot of videos and stuff on this already, um, but just absolute awesome design. Not inset pocket clip, but it is flat screws. Good job. We got texture. Let's listen for some texture. So pretty decent texture there. Um, got good weight. That uh, that copper bolster definitely adds a little bit of heft. Again, just a beautiful, beautiful knife. I mean, the design work is awesome on it. Um, let's take a look at the blade. So it is a flipper only. So there's no other uh, op options for opening it. Ooh, details. Tight. Very nice. I was not expecting that. So there you have Sharif's logo and the knife name. On the other side, you've got the... Oh, come on, focus. Kaiser logo and then the um, model number. Look at that blade shape. That is just killer. I love a harpoon blade shape and Sharif does awesome on those. You got good choke up point here. It's kind of what it's meant to be. You can just tell by how um, where that harpoon's at. It's, you're just meant to choke up to here. Um, let's take a look. We have... Yeah. So you have no real sharpening choil, but because of how that finger choil is, you're, you're, out, you're outside of your plunge grind by just a hair. Right, Your plunge grind kind of ends right there where the factory grind line begins. So you do have a little bit of sharpening there. And that, look at that. You can kind of see there you've got some recurve in that blade. Let's try my finger on the opposite side. So you got some recurve there in that blade. That's awesome. And then that really nice belly on the blade. I'm, I'm usually more of a fan of, um, you know, worn cliffs and, you know, sheep's foot and stuff like that. Um, just because of, for the type of cutting that I normally do, having that tip right there at the where I'm where I'm needing to cut but this is just this is just a beautiful knife and I wanted to uh, wanted to help support a friend so um, definitely 90% of the reason I bought this knife was um, was the designer uh, you yeah, know not to mention the fact that it is a an absolutely gorgeous knife um, typical Kaiser sharpness I'm sure We'll do a well. There, I kind of already showed it, but um, let's see if I can. I don't know, this is going to be kind of weird because the paper's kind of folded over already. But I mean, it's uh, where the paper is doubled up. It's not wanting to cut push through, but I mean, it's it's razor sharp. I mean. This is that thin, cheap paper that they send you for for flashlight instructions. So, um, 
beautiful knife. Uh, Shreve did it again, an amazing job with this design. Uh, I got it in my hands at Blade Show, and it just, it really does, it just melts in your hand. And what's really cool about it too is how that detent is tuned. Even though it's a little harder to open to get that detent to break, it's not unbearable. There's good jimping up here. Yeah, here we'll focus on the jimps. The jimps. So, decent jimping up there. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it is good enough to grab a hold of that finger and allow you to get that out. But because that detent's so good, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you can feel it. I'm trying to just. Yeah, even push buttoning. Let's see. Let's try the side of my finger. Yeah, no. Once you get that, if you can get that detent to break, it's it's rocketing out there. Let's test. Oh yeah, it's a it's a guillotine. So, I mean, uh, do we have a little bit of double clutch there? No, it's just so no double clutch. So once it breaks and that flipper hits your thumb, it's there. It's just <clears throat> more of a hydraulic action than super drop shut because the uh part of how that part of why that detent's so good is the the lock bar has good tension on it so that lock bar tension is is keeping it from falling shut but if you push that lock bar out of the way it it drops i mean it it'll drop down as far as you want it to um again beautiful beautiful knife another one yeah, I, if it was a different color other than black i know it wouldn't be mine anymore my wife would steal it but that one i do believe is uh might actually be mine uh so let's uh heck with it let's break it in let's see here so again these are all kaiser products i don't remember exactly what all's in here i know there's five knives um, so we'll kind of play the game together. I have a fairly good idea of what's in here, but I don't remember exactly. There we go. So, I'll pull it off camera just in case there's anything in here that doesn't need to be seen or anything like that. Okay, awesome. Nope, looks like we've just got some swag, which is awesome sauce. And then, ooh. There's some more swag in here too. I don't know if let's see. Come on. Come on. Alright. Yeah, so all right, we'll take the box out of the way here. So swag, we'll go through the swag. Uh got uh ZF. Uh, honestly don't know what that is, but that's probably because I'm just ignorant. Oh lefty live. Well, that's cool. Again, uh, it's probably just ignorance of me, but not sure what that's for, but that's an awesome sticker. Yeah, it's uh, Thrasher's Garage. Again, probably just ignorance. Not sure what that's for. But still, it's a cool sticker. Everyday carry, 814, 814 Everyday Carry. Preppy Friday. LFD. Ooh, no, I like that. I've got a place for that. That's definitely going on my pack. Williamson patch. DCS patch. Oh, that's an Ontario. That's cool. Especially with everything that's happened with them uh, uh, getting bought out and going out and everything. That's a patch that probably is not going to go anywhere. That's really cool. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. So thank you for that, Ray. So far, so good, man. Appreciate the the awesome. Uh, swag pack. If you're watching, I appreciate it. Sorry for whoever st stickers. I don't know who you are. I'm really kind of new to the whole YouTube 
uh, EDC game. So if one of those stickers are yours and you're watching, um, let me know. I would love to subscribe to you. I, I just I'm, I don't have a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of uh, subscriptions. I'm still kind of get, getting used to ever getting figure getting everything figured out. Um, so let's see what all we got in here. Probably should just let this open. But it's a knife channel. We want to see knives in action. All right. Okay, so I've got a bag of goodies here. So we will start with number one and work our way around. Okay. So I'm just trying to find out what, the, what I want to do with this. There we go, just set that there. So this is one I've already had on the channel uh, recently. This is the upgraded version. It is the 3V Kaiser Chili Pepper in OD Green. A little bit of a kind of hydraulic action there. Cool little knife. Uh, I really do, I actually really do enjoy this. The, the one that I, uh, the friendly chili pepper as we, as we call it, uh, got sent to uh, somebody and you'll see that very soon or not very soon you'll see it sometime <laughs> uh, I don't want to pretend when he's going to be able to get around to doing something like that so we've got the the chili pepper which is awesome and then we've got the we've got two of these yep so I'm starting to slowly remember everything we've got in here so this is the um the Bugai. Sorry, I tried to get that in for you guys. There we go. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the one that is, and yes, yeah, so this is the 154CM. So I don't know a whole lot about these, uh, this particular knife. I don't think I actually got one picked up. Um, at Blade Show, um, really nice so far. I'm really liking it. Contour micarta, so you've got some some contouring there. Yeah, you know, right in there. Sorry, let me move this off the screen. It's kind of making things wig out a little more than usual. So you've got some contouring there. It is a slightly inset pocket clip, just not completely. But you do have flat screws. Thumb hole only. Reverse flick is pretty good. It's got a pretty strong detent. Um, interesting blade shape for sure too. Let's see. That's kind of you know it's big belly. You've got a compound grind there on the tip. And I don't know the the shape of any of these really so I don't know if they're like you know factory fresh or what but it seems should be sharp a sharp so um, probably as close to factory fresh as you can get so, really cool I like this like I said I really do like this blade um, it's cool that I've got two of them so like I said, there's two of these. So this one's the 154 variant. And then there is the one that I am in love with. And the black, it's got the black hardware, it's got the black blade. Then this one is, uh, let's see if we can get it shown there. I'm going to have to insist or have a light assist me here. So this is the 3V version. So you can see it there. There we go. That's a little better. So you got the 3V. 
That's the guy, and it is, I'm not going to pretend to pronounce that guy's name. But there's your designer logo and everything, and I apologize to the designer. But... D... Uh, sorry, I can't hardly even see it. And Timonov. And Timonov. Tim and yeah, sorry. Again, I apologize. Cool design. Liner lock. Got plenty of access to liner. Um, so you got really good access there. This one has a little bit of lock stick. Not a big deal. Detent's a little strong again. Not a big deal. It'll break in, I'm sure. I'll probably take this one, this particular one, because this one I plan on keeping. Probably take it apart and uh, see if I can't remedy that lock stick a little bit. Um, but a uh, free knife is, is a free knife. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, I do really like the um, the ergos of this knife. It's got a pretty good feel in hand. You get a little bit of, huh? You do get a little bit of a hot spot because that um, the handles aren't symmetrical. You, the back side and the lock side's a little bit taller. In my hand, at least, it kind of it hits right there in that knuckle area when I'm holding the knife. But chances are I probably will be holding it with my left hand. So, ooh, what? Hmm. I guess I just wasn't locked in, locked up enough. Yeah, if you don't sling that guy open. Yeah. Yeah. If you just barely open it, it uh it doesn't want to lock up on you. But anyway, it's again, it's not something that I'm too utterly concerned with. Um, I just got to adjust that detent a little bit and try to take care of that lock stick. Awesome, awesome knife. I like it. Um, again, I'm, I didn't, you know, if it was something that I bought direct from Kaiser, probably would be having a conversation with Kaiser, just saying, you know, hey, let's try to figure out something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the other one out here, too. So, the next two are premium versions, or premium variants from Kaiser. Um, I plan to probably send both of these to uh, Mr. Colin there, and that kind of gives you a hint of what we're working with. So, this is the, um, the Tion. So again, you've got kind of an interesting blade shape. Big fat fuller, it runs through the blade. Got a little scuffed up in transit, but that's okay. I love how they did the, or how they've done these, uh, the blue accents on the, the pivots and on the pocket clip and the back spacer. I really like that. Smooth action. Thumb stud action is really good. Reverse flick is really good. Flipper action is a little light. So, I would probably do away with the flipper on this one if I had the opportunity. It is a I mean, if you push button it, it works. Um, but it's a little light for that. It seems to be tuned more for thumb stud and reverse flick. Let's see. Maybe if I think maybe if I touch the. Well, yeah, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, if I'm touching the lock bar, it makes it a little bit better. Um, but does that have an adjustable lock? No. I'm trying to see. Looks like it has an adjustable detent.
No, that's just for the lock bar insert. Okay. That was it. Just it. I didn't even see the insert at first because it's very well hidden back there. So it does have a steel insert on the lock bar, which of course is normal. Um, but I didn't see it at first. I thought maybe it was just a pivot. I mean the uh, detent. But cool, cool little knife. Um, this is not one I've had in my hand before. Yeah. Why can't I reverse look it now? There we go. Um, I said I'll probably send it off to do something for anodizing. Um, then those uh, scuffs and stuff won't matter. But uh, so cool, cool. And then we have the torn gap. So again, you get the same blue um, anodized backspacer pocket clip insert and um, pivot collars. Yeah, that I like. Well, maybe. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can. Doesn't look like I can open it with the thumb studs. Let's see, or with the thumb hole. Why am I having? A, why am I feeling at that? I guess I'm. I guess I'm not able to do that and not grab the lock bar, which is fine. I like reverse flicking knives anyway, but it's uh, one I've got to get used to again. I like it though. I like the. It's got a good feel in hand. Interesting blade shape. Got a compound grind. Almost a tanto. I, I think I would say it is. Venture to say it is a tanto. Um, got that up sweep. Man, that thing's sharp. It's almost cut me a couple times now. Just barely touching my skin. Uh, typical milled clip um, from Kaiser Singh. Uh, it's almost the exact same clip as the. Um, as the Tian, um, just with a little extra onto it. Um, and again, I'm pretty late to the game on this one, so I know there's a lot of uh, people that already have it, a lot of people that's out there. So, again, you got the uh, Styles, Torngat S35. Um, again, we've got a couple of scuffs and stuff from Transit. Uh, or from use things of that nature. Let's see, is this one? Let's check. I don't know. This one didn't. This one doesn't feel like a factory edge. If it is, it's. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way it was catching. Like it kept. Every time it touched my hand, it felt like it was ready to cut me. It is pretty sharp. I will give it that. It is pretty darn sharp. Um. So I do like that one. That's probably one that's um, that I will keep. Or I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure. I do like it. You know, you can always uh, do something kind for someone. So you never know what'll happen with these. Um, the more I flick it, the more I like it. So this one will probably stay in my collection. Um, this one will most likely get. Uh, anodized and um, taken care of and then this guy the 3v version even though it's one that's got you know some some issues it will um, stay with me I like that and this one uh, we'll see if anybody I know wants it um, but it'll probably not be in my personal collection and then the chili pepper, I'm undecided on. I like it. I do like it. Um, it's an interesting knife. I like that it's 3V. Um, but I also know somebody that absolutely loves this color combo. Um, so I don't know what they, uh, how they feel about it. But we will figure it out. Um, so that one most likely stays with me. But again, I'm not sure 100% on that. Again, Ray, awesome giveaway, man. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, just kind of blown away. I mean, this is 
none of these are really cheap knives. I mean, you're talking 150, 160 something for each of these. This is like $100, $90, something like that. This one's like $90 or $100. This one's like $60 or $70. So blown away, absolutely blown away to have uh, to won those. Um, and then, you know, you add in the awesome deal I got. You know, I think uh, with through White Mountain Eyes, with, uh, with one of the discount codes, um, this was like 45 bucks, 40 something dollars. It was crazy. Um, so just absolutely insane deal on that knife and then just winning these was was amazing so uh, i do appreciate uh i do appreciate everybody watching uh i know this was not the typical video for me because i, I didn't really go into a lot of details on any of the knives uh, links or anything like that but these are all knives that have been out forever um or for a while at least and most everybody has information on them and uh well here we'll just throw in some here we'll throw in some size comparison here <laughs> so size comparisons with the elementum so this is about the same size as the elementum a little bit a little bit oh, excuse me sorry a little bit uh a little bit larger um the torn gat is definitely bigger And you guys the same size, give or take. Chili peppers the same size, give or take. A little bit larger. A little bit larger. And then the uh, Graziosa is about the same size as the uh, Torn Gap. So those two are about the same size overall. Closed diameter or closed length. Um, all right, well. Again, I appreciate you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, whatever uh, you know, whatever you guys want to do. If uh, if you know anybody that's interested in this kind of stuff, send them my way too. I mean, it only helps me out. So I will uh, continue to try to make these as good as I can. And uh, like I said I'll try to link everybody's stuff down below. Um, I'll link uh, the stuff to Sharice's website. Um, I will link um ray's uh youtube and uh instagram down below um there'll be links to collins crazy creations um basement bench brand and uh so we're, we're trying to i'm gonna try to help some people out as much as i can you know as uh as these guys say i can't remember who started it i want to say it was zach stuff um you know do something kind for someone so let's continue to try to do that try to do something kind for someone every day and uh you know just uh just makes my heart happy so hopefully everybody has a, a wonderful weekend coming up i hope you have a, a safe week coming up after that but as always try to remember have a nice day take care